Well, I was born here 76 years ago. Grew up here. And my parents, well, my grandparents brought me up. My parents liked to go dancing and kept having kids, so I didn't like the idea of babysitting after I grew up. <laughs> so I stayed with my grandparents. And they were making baskets day in and day out. And that's how I learned. All the old forms that I have were hers. And I only have one of my mother's. She gave me a few pointers too. She gave me, uh, well, the diamond design, mm -hmm. where my grandmother made mostly curls. Because she's from Old Town, they make a lot of curly baskets. So I just got, you know, I got tired of making just one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted a variety, and each one of these won't be the same. I worked on the big baskets. I weaved them up. I made the bottoms and weaved them up. 25 cents a piece. Well, they all died off. They all, the men that used to make the scale baskets, they all went. And the younger ones, well, they did, some of them did learn to do it. My father worked not for himself. He worked for other people to make the big scale baskets, and he never pounded. I quit buying the, the whole stick, because yeah. that's a chance you have to take in yeah. buying them. Yeah. I used to buy three or four sticks. And then when you... he'd get it pounded, some of it wouldn't be any good. Usually I get four bags, because Rocky gets a bag or a couple and Kenny. And then my apprentice, she, they buy one now and then. Of course, I provide the first three months of their work. Yeah, I'll see. Four. I used to make, have a little <laughs> little book I wrote down okay, how so many I buy from him and when. So far, I bought four, six bags from him this year. And uh, she used to buy, get loads of ash and uh, buy it from, you know, the people that goes after it. And a load of ash, and she'd have it pounded. Of course, she needs a lot of it for, I don't know how many she used to make, mm -hmm. over a hundred or more. But I used to work for her too, just weave in different things, because I didn't have any ash then either. Okay. So, but I'd get, after, you know, after a while, she'd uh, have somebody pound some and then I'd buy a pound in from her and pay her in baskets. Yeah. What I had left, you know, little piece, so okay. big, and I'd run out of stuff, so I'd go out and have a little hatchet, I'd pound okay. one strip, that'd work. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I used to love to dance, and I'd make two dozen bookmarks, 50 cents a dozen. and I'd sell them, and I'd go to the dance for 50 cents for my fare, 50 cents to get into the dance. Yeah. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what the price they are now. Well, uh, William Altevada, he used to buy baskets for me, and he'd get an order sometime for something special, and I'd try to make it. And, that's how the strawberries started on me, because I never saw a strawberry basket before. Yeah. So uh, I just done it by pic a picture. <laughs> I was at Bingo one night, and this girl, her uncle's name is, they call him B, Bumblebee. She asked me if I could make a bumblebee for her. I said, oh my God, what does it look like? <laughs> because you can't tell by just seeing them fly around. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, my son lived across the road here, and I noticed they had a lot of flowers and, uh, from the you know, florist shop. And I asked him if he had a bumblebee, a little one, that went yeah. with the flowers sometime. He looked around, he found one. That's it up there, this yeah. little. Yeah. 
bumblebees. Yeah, that's what I went by. Not that small, though. And I just like to make what I want to make. Okay. And if they want them, it's all right. If they don't, it's all right. But.